On today's YP Quick Bite, we'll be talking about converting mentors to sponsors. Hello, my name is Alexis Redman. I'm ASHA's Director of Career Management Resources. So what's the difference between mentorship and sponsorship? A mentor is going to help you advance your career goal by tapping into their knowledge and experience to help you work through challenges or make a decision. They, they dedicate time to building a relationship with you and they're more of an advisor while a sponsor takes an active role in helping you to achieve your career goals. They use their access, authority, or social equity to elevate you. So they've got friends and they're going to connect you to their friends. They're going to talk about you when you're not in the room. They're going to shine a spotlight on your career and your attributes, trying to get you to that next level. They create opportunities for you that you would otherwise not have access to. So think about the fact that sponsors can be mentors, but not all mentors are sponsors. A mentor transforms into a sponsor when they believe in your potential and invest in you through action. They have a voice at a table and they actively champion you every chance that they get. And they vouch for you so that you can take risks necessary to succeed. Because as young professionals, there's times that we're interested in opportunities that we don't have all the competencies based on experience but we have the skill set that allows us to be successful. So what a sponsor would do is to help to remove those roadblocks by, you know, connecting with or using their authority to show that, you know, that shouldn't be a concern. I would back and vouch for that person. So that, you know, that should not be a barrier to you getting an opportunity. So this is going to remove some of that doubt from maybe a hiring manager's mind because they, they trust and believe what the sponsor has to say about you is going to help to open um, doors to move you further in your career. So one thing to remember about sponsorship is that it thrives on attainable goals. Sponsors are actors, they're doers, so they have to have a next task, they have to have something that they're doing. So before you seek out a sponsor, it's really important that you have a clear view of what you're hoping to achieve from the partnership. Make sure you know what strengths and skills you bring to the table as well as what ambitions and goals that you have. What are those short-term goals? What are those long-term goals? You know, where can that sponsor can be strategic and help you to kind of move down that path? Because the real goal of a sponsor is to help you strategize opportunities, make those key introductions for you, and really achieve that vertical mobility. So the better you are at defining what you want, the more likely you will find the right people to support you. So have a clear definition of your goals and strengths so that that can be a framework for your partnership. Because what's going to be really important is making sure that what your goals and strengths are align with where they have access. And then you want to make sure that they actually have the interest and the skills to be that active advocate for you. So assess their interests and determine what is their motivation to be a sponsor. Are they looking for someone to get on their team? So they're trying to sponsor you because they want to get you in their organization. They want to get you on their team. Or maybe it's that they're really focused on creating protégés and championing women onto boards or put people of color into leadership roles or you guys are from the home, same hometown and they want to see you win. And so figure out what that interest and motivation is because that's going to help to determine how much effort they're going to put into that sponsorship and also knowing where that sponsorship might end. You then want to make an ask. It can be small. It could be, hey, I saw that you are friends with so-and-so. Would you mind making an introduction for me? And see if they're willing to do that. That's going to show that, okay, you know, they're willing to, you know, connect you and introduce you to their network. Then you want to update them. You want to tell them how did it go? Give them insights and information. And then use that to develop a new ask. So is it, oh, I would love if you do this for me, or I'd love it if, you know, you could help me, you know, refine my resume or cover letter, or, hey, I heard there's going to be an opportunity on this committee. Um, you know the chair, would you mind mentioning my name? So kind of give them an update because they're going to get that update from their colleague or their person in their network. So make sure that they can kind of help you to, you know, strategize and figure out what's that next step, but then make a new ask. So they're constantly keeping them in that worker be mode because sponsors want to be doing stuff. They want to be working towards a goal. So if you're not helping to move towards that goal, they might get disengaged or they might kind of move back into um, giving advice, but not really being that active champion into moving you forward. Because with a sponsor support, there's more expectation and higher stakes than with mentoring. 
sponsors have high hopes that their protégés are going to excel at accepting new challenges. So don't be afraid to stretch beyond your comfort zone and take some risks. Take risks in the opportunities that you're willing to take that your sponsors bring you. Take risks in the ask that you make of your sponsors because you never know the limits of what they can do or who they know that can really help move you through in your career. So really dedicate time to identifying and building relationships that can result in sponsorship or mentorship. And whether you're on the giving or the receiving end of that hard-earned wisdom, success will come when you have others to guide you. So good luck on your journeys.